Hey, how's everyone doing today? Uh, I see General right off the bat with a hydrate. Do you seriously think Final would play Val? I have actually no interest in Valorant. The only quote unquote uh, shooter shooter well, I guess it's not a quote unquote sh uh, shooter shooter game I actually play is Overwatch. And even then, I, I my main character is one that doesn't actually shoot. So, I always hope everyone's doing well today. Let me just. Hydrate. Who do you main? Uh, I main Reinhardt. Mm, delicious. Next minute challenge play Valor? No. I love playing Ryan. I've always wanted to do like a 6v6 six, a six six and have like everybody on one side play Valorant. Or Valorant? Fuck. That's what I get for reading Gumbo's message. Uh, for reading, uh, for uh, playing Reinhardt. Just imagine all like, just the, the dashing around and whatnot would be fucking hilarious. Uh, don't, don't mess with stream cord, Ali. I, I know it's been, it's been tardy as of late and I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Let's play Anna and Bap. I I have been gotten that much experience with Baptiste. My my three mains are Ryan, uh, Orissa, and um, oh fuck. It's it's a toss up between either Junkrat or um, why is it Vera? But oh, that's just who I play. I mean, maybe one day I'll play Overwatch. On, on stream again. Last time I played Overwatch uh, was with uh, on Evie's stream. I'm a flex, I can play anything. <laughs> My favorite song was a 3v3. Uh, what was I doing? Alright, second half of this trial, let's do this. Already we're starting off with depression. But what what has everybody been up to today? Um, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? Like you're swimming up from the bottom of the lake about to reach the surface. But no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, okay. I can play Ryan for tank, McCree and Ash for DPS, and Anna and Bat for support. I just I'm, no, I'm never the biggest fan of like sniper sniper based uh, players. Thanks, Gumbo. One of my favorite things to do as Ryan. Uh, I think it's oh Eichenwald? No, not Eichenwald. Black Forest. In the in the three v three map where there's that little tunnel underneath the two block doors. I just love uh, telling telling my teammate to like break one door and then just me just flying through the second. Only once have I actually gotten a triple doing that, and that is the highlight of my life. Hey Tara, how's it going? It's been a bit. Better end than most people I play with, so I usually play Ash or McCree. I gotta play with you. Oh, we'll, we'll see how things do, General. Except today we're swimming in quicksand. Okay. So what happened to your sister, anyway? Apparently she got called off to the judge's chambers. Probably something to do with that piece of cloth. It has yes, right? No, it's it's no no need to apologize. I understand life take is like that you just happens. I, I I'm not like holding against anybody if they're not here. How's you been? I've been alright. So, this is where we turn this trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell the truth. Hola, partner. Holy crap, it's Cowboy Jenkins. 
They say they say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire its, up its temper. That's what they told me when I was a young and at least. Officer Marshall. Thought I'd come to take a look see how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. They've got the home ranch locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. That hard to slip out, huh? What's going on over there, anyway? All the police I've seen the last uh, two days have really been on edge. Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for example. Um, Officer Marshall. The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. How's it going, Blue Sky? Man, everybody's coming out of the woodworks for Phoenix Wright. Do you guys, like, actually enjoy this, or...? Because I, I haven't voice acted a single fucking thing. <laughs> Maybe my Canadian comes out a bit when it's it's Cowboy Guy. Just because I used to live in Alberta for, for a long time. Going good? Nice. I want some Phoenix wrongs. Yeah, we'll get you Phoenix rights. Fuck off, Gumbo. <laughs> she wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now, don't that just beat all? I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. I saw it that day too. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the award ceremony that afternoon, Edward seen it too, I reckon. What does that mean? Cat Papa. <laughs> that's a <laughs> that's awesome. I, I like that name. Or Cat Mama or Cat parent, I guess. What's what's the papa or mama equivalent for a non-binary person? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So Miss Starr wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you just gotta let that boat go where it will. Time will tell. A parent, I guess? Yeah, but it's it's not the same as, like, if a parent would be mom or dad. But if it's papa or mama, well, then what, what's the non burner equivalent? It's gotta be something. Hey, Sphix. Ugh, I have a bad feeling about this. So what are we summing in now, Mr. Wright? Cement. <laughs> if it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine ribs. Woo-wee. I just got fucking time zoned. Yeah, I saw on Discord. Like, you're an hour behind or something? Maddie, Addie, Poppy, and Nibi. Hmm. I'm the same time as you. I know. Did you travel at all? I'd like to resume. What's up? The judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. Oh. Chicken wings. Hell yeah. I'm in the worst possible time zone now. What which time zone's that? Ah uh, no that dock yourself. Don't 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 answer that. Don't answer that. Something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue, your lips are purple, you're sweating bullets. That furrow brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused. You're doubled over. Your back is bent. It can't be. This can't happen. Thank you for that, Jared. British summertime? I love summertime, though. I, I think you may be slightly more north than me, but... GMT plus one is actually the worst possible design zone. So. 
Well then, I believe it is time we continued on with this trial. During our recess, I had requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. This is unacceptable. Hmm. It seems the prosecutor is quite beside himself. I love summer people because I get to take cold showers. Oh, same though. Oh, there's... I'm not trying to be nasty, guys, but when you're hot and sweaty, cold showers feel so good. I'm, I'm much more of a summer person than a winter person. I wish for Ragnarok. Stay six feet away from me? Okay. Uh, excuse me, knock knock. Hmm? Who's there? Who the fuck are you? What's with this guy? A strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Autumn is where it's at. Summer. They do, but when I start to get cold, I just bust out of there. <laughs> okay, this guy, don't, please no spoilers, please no spoilers. The temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. One out of this city. Honestly, I have no, I, I have, uh, my first, I'm, personally, I have no issues with people saying cunt. It's, it's, it's a word like fuck or whatever. It's, it's it's a swear. I guess it's a swear word. Yes, but I think I, I think I'm just desensitized it to it because of all, all the some of the British TV I watch. Yes, you can. I just would say maybe just be careful on how much how much you use it. I don't do summer. Well, you can't do summer. You just enjoy it. I'm not gonna do spoilers. Just entitled shit. Okay. Being so hot, you can change the temp by appearance? I know, right? Who on earth is he? Ah, it's you. Stop staring, it's creepy. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Edgy. The roads were packed, it's just me. Long time no see, uh, Edgy. How you been, swim itch these days? Uh, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. Uji. Is his name Eugene? Is the judge's name Eugene? Hey, artist. Busy, busy, smizzy, Uji, my boy. You have to make time to relax. <laughs> Bluge. <laughs> I always love that word, bluge. Yes, indeed. Uji seems to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. I'll become a Viking and die in combat to go help for the eternal cold. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Oh, uh, actually, I'm gonna mute quickly just so I can like actually not get distracted by music. Actually, that that didn't help. Um. I'm considering doing some updates to my avatar, my, my VTuber model. If anybody has ideas that's not like too far-fetched, uh, sauce them in Discord and just at me. Like things I'm thinking of redoing is maybe like the hair animation or like the, the, the irises of my eyes kind of thing. Make it blue and ice themed. Oh, that didn't work. Fuck. Whatever. Wait, where's my model? Oh no, don't tell me I just... Okay, hold on a second. Finally a good stream? Fuck off! 
Don't tell me I just don't have my model. Oh no, I do. Why is it V4 then? My current model should be V5. You have an idea for something, uh, for Chimus make it finalized for something? Initial, it's, uh, honestly, green is my favorite color, uh, but uh, Masukai, uh, there is a in lore, uh, uh, initial ice. Maybe some marks on the face, that would be interesting. Okay, I'll but okay, this I think this is good. I'm fixed. Green is hot too. Thanks. <laughs> no offense, but can you get a haircut? I've I have been considering changing my hair. I'm still keeping the, the cowl, keep in mind. No, no last lightning. Longer hair would look badass as fuck. What, what about like is the 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 uh, ponytail that uh, like that I that I had in uh, uh, from for my uh, my offline screen the one that uh, Project Marjorie made for me. Blue, green, you get red, pink, purple, then yellow. Nice. Those are good colors. Just remind me of 7th grade me with a mullet. Okay, well... Like I said, so, sauce them to me on Discord, probably in, like... Uh, stream feedback. At me with your idea. I'm sorry, but who are you? Aha, so you're Rido, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Hey, uh, thanks? So sorry about a little worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. L little worthy? What about yellow? Yellow fucking sucks. Yellow's my second favorite color, to be honest. Like a, a golden yellow. Every color can look good in the right context. Exactly. Silence, piss drinker. Fuck off. <laughs> Mr. Wright? You don't know the district chief of police. Oh, he's... Oh. He's Gumshoe's boss. Ch chief of police? He's the top-ranking police officer in the entire district. Name's Gant. Damon Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. So, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? See, the one, the one quote-unquote color that I'm not a big fan of is black. I think black is used way too much in clothing. I, I prefer there to be, like, color and whatnot. You know? Like, even just, like, a gray would look cool. I live in black. Okay. I mean, what's, whatever makes you happy. Like that's what I'm saying. I'm just in my in my opinion, there is there there's too much formality or or darkness. You know. You know, black isn't actually a color. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I say quote unquote because it's it's an absence of color. Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, that's... My sister's muffler. So Miss Star wasn't just seeing this. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But to think that it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe. On Little Worthy's car, no less. 
I need to wash my fucking idiot. It's a good color. Which color is it? It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What's this? It's what you call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing, this. Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? M Mr. Edgeworth, how could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? I haven't shown you all my Canada hoodie. Oh, you have a Canada hoodie. If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? Now, wait a minute, Worthy. I have no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you know, didn't you hear me? What the hell? Look at the Lincoln's document, where it says, Person in charge of investigation. There's no mistaking that signature, is there? Miles Edgeworth. That's not fair. I'll tell you the crime. I, I had... God in the thrift store? Nice. Your head is in the clouds. Because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I expect a written an apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess. That you made. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. Holy shit, Damon Gant just fucking backed him into a corner. We have these shops we call American clothes where we buy second haw yee clo yeehaw clothing. Nice. Sometimes you find some really good stuff in, in second hand stores. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Gah. The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask, ask a def the defense a favor first. Yes? Just to be sure. I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife. The blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? I love how we were talking about the VTube character which turned it to talk about colors. Because it's... It's all design. It's it's everybody's like thoughts and desires and whatnot and Yeah. Oh, on the quick topic of design, if you wanna help me uh with some research, uh exclamation mark skybreakers uh will point you to a survey. If you guys want to help me out and do the survey, it's like very quick. I can't give anything in return, but it helps me uh, further enhance the game. From Montreal? You're from Montreal? Or oh, sorry, is it Montreal? Hey, Severed. I need to finish up my brain is it molten. <laughs> yes, well, I think all you have to do is push that switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Just like I pound your dad. Vacation? Ah, nice. You're closer to me than I thought you would be. <laughs> it's still quite a distance, but closer. I, For some reason, I always thought you were like... Western coast, like BC. Either that or for some reason from for some reason Winnipeg. There's a cat on my bed. Nice. Yeah, but if I cut my finger I wouldn't be able to point it at it people anymore. Come on, just hurry up and open it. I'm not even selecting anything. There's a small tag on this knife. It seems to say SL9 too. What does that mean? 
Oh, I've heard something similar. DL6 of DL6 Incident fame. But it's strange. Huh, what is? I'm not certain, but I get the feeling I've seen this somewhere before. Letters like this, or letters that looked a lot like this somehow. What? Don't scare me like that. <laughs> I am BC? Okay, oh, okay. I don't, I don't know why, I just... Whenever I see people, I always assume Western Coast, because I don't fucking know why. She looks so peaceful now like she terrorized me last night. I'm the one who's scared. Look at this knife blade, the tip is broken off. And it's dark red stain. Blood? Found another crime scene wrapped in the defense muffler, small tag attached. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I'd like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm Terry Sorley, but I could ask you to testify for us. About the split between the uh, prosecutors and the police and this knife. Sure, sure thing. Not a problem, not even a little one. Really. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. A detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. Time of the crime, 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? Blue, green, hot. <laughs> it's not officially linked to this case, uh, this here case, so I can't talk about it much. There was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's hush hush information, Edgy. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Wait a second. You said 5.15. Oh. Die Kleine als 3. Love you too, Terror. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. So subscribe for two months. If I don't know why, it feels like you've been lo here longer. But I appreciate the support nonetheless. I don't know why, but I really like the trans flag. Trans flag is nice. It doesn't feel longer, or it does, but you just add an N accidentally. That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Order, order, order. Anyway, we at the department were all flustered, as you might well assume. We were in the middle of a top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Wright? I'm going to the Google form. Thank you. Accidental and okie doke. <laughs> Two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. Chances that are really slim. Scientifically speaking, of course. I'd, I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well, however. Keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Really, Gumbo? This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Excuse me, special? Mm hmm. Hard to come by by this particular knife anywhere else. Um, why that special thing be this little tag? Oh, sorry, Rido, but I can't say that now. Not that. We established that the knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? It's quite a mystery. Unlike a mystery, it, it, it's wrapped in something. A muffler. Skybreaker is a game I can get now? Well, I'll have to see. Probably. I'm, hope, I'm hoping it, it, it works out. Like, this... I'm not going to open up a Kickstarter until I'm, like, actually ready. Like... Demo is done. I have some things uh, like ideally lined up. 
I'm ready to make like a full push without any intrusions, that kind of thing. And I, honestly, I'm quite nervous about the thing. It's 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 nowhere near ready yet. Like I'm st I'm still the, like the basics bases of getting like the physics and programming set and done. But yeah, well, let's just have evidence to prove there's a connection between this knife and good. This knife was found at the scene of our crime. I think it makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things that go on in the department that I can't explain. It's delicate, okay? Sorry, Rado. Maybe there's something about the knife that will give us a clue. Let's examine that knife when we can. Huh? Ev evidence that links to this to this knife to Detective Goodman. I perhaps think the pieces are falling into place. I should try presenting the piece of evidence that had me stumped all this time. So how are things down at the apartment? This is something you're making? Yes. I, I, can t I can possibly talk more about it tomorrow. We'll, we'll see if I'm... Because like, tomorrow is Idiot Fuck Makes a Thing Day. Or If Matt Mondays. Um, so I'm not sure if I want to do Game Dev or if I want to do Avatar Updates. Why does tea stink like yogurt? I hate this house. Ew. I wish I could make games, but I don't have the time or knowledge. Understandable. Like it's it's not something every everybody can or wants to do. I'm just fortunate enough to like decide decide this is you know my career path. And I thought my like I I'm I'm planning. I don't plan on being a streamer forever. I my my main goal now in life is to start my own game company. At least I hope so. I want to get in VN making, but God, writer's block kicks my ass. The problem with VN, making a good VN, is that there's a lot of different paths you gotta consider. It's... Uh, I, I I can go more to uh, what do we do tomorrow? Can the former mods get hired? Former mods. Oh, uh, I don't see why not. If you guys are applying for the right positions, you know. <laughs> V's nuts. I just have to go to the uh. Okay, hold on. Something happened at the police department too, huh? You got a good look, yeah, look in your eye there, right on my boy. Sharp, hungry. So something did happen. And why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why did you ask? No matter, I understand. You were busy, what with Lana's case and all. Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? A detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go back. I think I know which evidence. Because this upside down is SL9. Wait a second. Ah, uh, at last. An honest to goodness objection. Hold on. I gotta, there we go. Coding is a bit, bit painful, so good luck, yeah. I will start learning how to code and make games just to work with you or with for for you or with you when I'm older. I if I start my own business, I don't want any I want to like do as Valve does. Valve doesn't have any hierarchy. Valve doesn't have any positions. The only position is basically the owner of the company. But even then it's like not that high. If if you've ever looked at the credits in Valve, there are no titles. It's all alphabetical. Because people can do what they want. Like, more, more, most people will focus on either programming or coding or uh, environment design or voice acting or whatever. They will... Binaries. <laughs> like... They, 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 they don't... They do what they want to do. If they want to change to a different project midway through, their, their name will still be on the project, but they can do whatever they want. And I would love to have a company like that.
An honest to goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Aha! An honest to goodness, what do you mean from Udgy? This is great. Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. And this is important. Why? Oh, thank you for that, Drake. Take us and make some cog and balls him. I still gotta... I, af, after Skybreakers, I will honestly make a genuine effort to make combat solitaire. <sighs> Gender is mine. You can't have it. Mine. Mine all mine. <laughs> Over here, we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. Hmm. What's this? Six mi six minus seven s twelve divided by two. Your Honor, you're stupid. It's upside down. <laughs> upside. The, pr the printed name on the mem memo makes it look like it's right side out. But turn it around. What you get? Two twenty one s online. Ah, aha! Do I ever need a gender? Probably not. I don't think anybody needs a gender. You're going to identify as what you wanted to identify as. Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. That's not that. It's the same thing as that is written on the knife's tag. Order, order. Well, Chief? Now, ah, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rido. I win? Uh... What game is this guy playing? This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the police uh, from the department's evidence room. I'm excited for Pride Month in a fucking April. What's which? I keep forgetting, and I and I and I'm so sorry to the to the to the L LGBT LGBTQ plus community. What month is Pride Month? I'm I'm really I'm really really bad with like remembering which month is which. Like in terms of like uh, special t uh, I don't want to say specialty months, but like like I, I can never remember and I'm terrible with that. I've tried to learn it. Don't get me wrong, but like July. Oh okay. Don't worry, final time isn't real. It's Julie. <laughs> so this knife was stolen? Yes, but on the day of the murder. If it is evidence, you say. Was it in fact a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon, as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since solved. So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder. It was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. How do you think there isn't a connection there? That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. I've already read all this. It's when all the monopolies become rainbow. That makes sense. Yo, humans are practically always at war with each other. Why do we think uh, meeting aliens will go well? In all honesty, I'm not entirely sure. On one half, I think we might get like a change in like prospect if aliens ever go to war with us. Um, but also, I don't want to like get to that part, you know? <laughs> alien bonking. Mm, I want some alien eyes. <laughs> On the same day that a detective was killed in the uh, prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? And that's a fact. Surprising, isn't it, Aji? I'm at a loss for words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested? That was quick. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Rido. 
I suppose I could help if you help me by giving data on your case. Oh, good one. This kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. What if aliens have like a spiked cock or something? That's why I said ass. I'm going to save up for the resurrect. Oh! Is that one still up? Oh, the resurrect is still up. Okay. Oops. Um, so the victim was found at the police station. The victim died the same time. So the only thing I can think of is how the victim was killed. Well, how was the defective killed? Defective? Detective. How was he killed? Now that's the interesting part. It was what we in the forest call a stabbing. Where the knife? A uh, knife? That's actually the exactly the same as Detective Goodman. That's the spirit we're cooking now. But you know, that's not the only thing that was exactly the same. What do you mean? There were more similarities between the two cases than the cause of death. It seems I'm going to have to press this a bit harder. Time of the crime? 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? 5. 5.15? But that's... That's what Detective Goodman was killed in the prosecutor's office. What? Some people like to get bonked rather than bonk? Yep. Do you see why I hate uh, Cactus Penis Gantz? Not yet. What is that word, Gumbo? Sar, 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 or sar, la cussy. I. Why did I read that? Why did I have to read that? Why did you say that? There's a special place in purgatory for you, Gumbo. I hope you know that. Funny, isn't it? A murder at the prosecutor's place. And a murder at, the, at our place at the very same time. What are the chances? Coincidence? This is just my gut feeling, but I say that there's a 0.001% chance of that happening. Chief Gant, please tell us more about the incident. It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. How can you say that there's no connection? How? Because I'm the chief of police. I can't just say anything I please, Rido. You understand. Try to understand, Rido. <laughs> the judge said it. One word murders a soul, it's not even offensive. Yeah, I know, but it's 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 one of those things you understand. Well if you can prove there's a connection, more power to you. Maybe there is something that ties the two murders together. Whatever it is, I better find it. Two detectives were killed at 515, one at the prosecutor's office and one at the police department. That can't be a coincidence. And that knife. What was it doing there? I better check this knife out. Does this need to? Oh, come on.
I'm feeling really tempted to Google that, and I don't feel like being Scarf for Life today. I, I don't know what the... Oh, what the hell? Why does that enjoy kazoo? Yeah, that's that's what they play when they, they open the pearly, pearly gates. They play Ave Maria kazoo. Missing here. What am I supposed to be doing? Is it the phone? I'm gonna press on this one again, just see if I missed anything. So this knife was stolen? Yes, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say. It was in fact a murder weapon. Nice, nice, nice. A good show, a little worthy. It was a murder weapon as it happens. It was evidence from a case uh, long since solved. I haven't made a fire in a while. So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder, and it was found in the exhaust pit of his car. Hard to think there isn't a connection there. Motherfucker! On Saturday news, I think my father lied to me. He said he'd bought me markers. Oh. What is the answer here? What am I supposed to be? Should have just stayed the fuck away? Maybe. Instead of biting his dick off, maybe. Finally, you have the weirdest chat I've ever seen. Yeah, I know, but it's it's more. I, I, I'm actually happy with the chat I have because they're actually open about mental health and talking about it and whatnot. The, with all the chaos included, that's just part of a normal chat. Oh, Svik has dropped the hammer. Woo! Hammer dropped. This isn't even late night scale levels. I don't... Someone's got to let me know when he's streaming again and where. Motherfucker. 
Yeah, like, I've just never seen people be so open about it. And that's, that's my, I, I talked about this yesterday during the farmhouse. This is why I, like, I wanted to, like, create this community. Because if we can get, like, you guys talking about mental health, you guys will, t uh, like, help out other friends talking about being open with their mental health. And, well, it's, it'll become less of a stigma to talk about it, you know? He's trying a hentai aim trainer a few days ago. No, I know. I get, I get that. I'm just curious to see how that kind of stream goes, you know? I'm so fucking lost. If anybody knows which evidence I should present, please at least let me know which one it is. This one I'm needing help with. Oh, Sphix, I did want to make a request of you since you're one of the artists of the group. And you're, and you're kind of known for making fan art. Yeah, uh, General, you're, you're knowledgeable with this game. All, all I need is to know is which evidence I need to present. Fuck. Did I hear a request? What request? Oh yes, uh, I need I need a request of use fix. Um, if you can, and and I'll see if I can try to sauce you some money for it. Can you make some fan art of Ska? I think Ska deserves some fan art. It was one of the conversations we had last night during the SMP, and I and I. I don't want to make make it like seem like it's forced, you know. But I, he's he's a good dude, and he deserves some fan art, you know. I I would just I, I want to make sure like somebody's looking out, you know. I was planning on making some anyways. Hell yeah. General AFK it seems? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured. I just don't want to, like... The sketch is a work of art, yeah. I'm getting fucking frustrated with this. Gumbo's two challenge is is, is emotes. Yeah, I totally agree. Fuzzled about this objection. I'm too. I'm just trying to figure out which which evidence I need to present. I'm just fucking. I don't know which one.
Oh, I, I fucking probably lost this game like four times over already. Try to draw. I end up doing emojis in a scary way. Put my best best one on Discord if anyone wants to see. I'll, I'll check it right now. Where do you put it? Maybe the positive check and hydrate. On the same day that detect another t was killed at the police department? That's a fact. Surprising as a G. So apparently I this is what this is what got me. I didn't actually choose the right question. This is the only I only looked up this one thing. Uh, it was where the victim was found. It gets a lot easier when you copy emotes that already exist and just slap on accessories on them like and it's new. Yeah, yeah. Just tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found. But I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. The evidence room, okay. The evidence room? Wait a second, I've heard of that. The evidence room. Didn't he mention that in his testimony just now? This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. There's a connection between the two cases. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. Happy? We just got handed our ticket to go to town on this case. With a link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gant to testify about the details. Chief, the defense position is, is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Hey, you don't say. Well, out with it, Righto. What's your connection? Yeah, out with it, Mr. Wright. The connection is the place, mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had on him the case number on the knife's evidence tag. But we also know that the detective murdered the police department. Detective Mur the, the detective murdered the police department was killed in that very same evidence room. Indeed. There do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you deduced right there. Chief. I request that release your inf I request that you release your information on the victim at the police mar police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet at all. Can we get the information unofficially? Hmm. Sure. Why not? 
It's unofficial, after all. What, really? Who would have guessed? I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the uh, department, okay? If you're going to tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Ah, well, case information is sticky stuff. You, you do have everything properly. Crab. The victim's ID number. Let's try that. Okay, how about you tell me the victim's ID number? Hmm? Sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me their name, after all. But keep a tight lid on ID numbers, so don't get in your hopes up. The number is... Well, that's quite long. And we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. I actually, I actually just wrote that down just in case. Eight, two... I can't... You didn't get the first number right. Well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you anything? Five eight four two one eight nine. It's the exact same thing as as Goodman's ID. The ID number of the victim at the police department. Five five eight four two one eight nine. This tells me something. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It does. I think. Meaning. It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. See the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department. It tells you something? What does it tell you? Witness. What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. Totally high effort, Blue Jermaine. <laughs> no, I, it's just, I got confused. And this is news? Fuck you, Edgeworth. I'll suck your dick. Huh? Just come up with both guns blazing, like you always do. The police department, the prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh ho, is it yours? No, no, Your Honor. I'm a defense attorney, remember? This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Rido. Personnel IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is 5842189. I totally just didn't grab my template and color it blue. <laughs> And this means what exactly? Huh? Wait. That ID number we heard from the chief earlier. That started with 8-2. Hmm, I've forgotten. You even get the first number right. Again. <laughs> the number the chief of police gave us was... 584-2189. Wait a second, right? What does this... mean? That's what I want to know. Two, nine, two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? Oh, ho, 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 sharp as attack, right? Oh, sharp as attack. B but wait, Detective Goodman is our victim. She was killed at 515 in the underground parking lot. Yeah, Detective uh, Bruce Goodman was killed at the police department in the evidence room. At the exact same time. Objection. That's impossible. So what we're saying is... The same person was killed at the same time. And in a completely different location? Order, order, order. Chief, what does this mean? Objection. No. What I want to know is why didn't I hear about this? This is top secret, fine, but I'm a prosecutor in charge of the case. A man not have just almost dropped a steak knife on me dick while I was eating dinner. Oh shit, dude, are you okay? Alright, 
Ho ho hopefully you didn't, didn't get, uh, didn't Swiss cheese your own dick. I'm fine. Oh, that's good at least. I, uh, I'd hate for accidental castration. He wasn't naked. Some, some, excuse me, some knives are too sharp that can cut right through cloth. Even though I almost got my hand punctured because of how I caught the knife. But, you, <laughs> dude, yeah, I'm glad you're okay. Just, please don't injure yourself. Now just wait a second, Worthy. No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. Or didn't you hear me? The oversight, the grave error? Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. What? How? How dare? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our officer Meekins who brought you the news. Oh, right, because Edgeworth shoot him away. Fuck. Oops. Every knife is... It, I, every knife I own is dull as fuck. Because they don't sharpen, they probably take, like, cause, like, three pence to make. How many pence is in a, in a pound? That's, uh, that's what I've wondered. They made fire I'm warm now, Poggies? Nice. Hell yeah, fire. Officer Meekins? Right, where have we heard that name before? Wait, aha. Uh -huh. Um. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I forgot your report, sir. Oh. 100 pence in a pound. Okay. I was never sure. So it's basically the, the cent to the dollar over here in, in, in America. North North America. Weird. <laughs> that was used some kind of weird uh, system like fillings. Yeah. You don't mean him? According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me. He said that report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman murdered in the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. Why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that capable that officer was capable of making the connection. Oh, well, that now I feel bad for him. He did seem challenged. Fuck you, Emma. What the fuck? Why do your knives cost 30... 30 CLP? So, uh, some, some knives are, like, overly cheap. You can get some here at the dollar store, too. Is CLP the, uh... Uh... Money of Chili? In any case, this is a serious error and a gross negligence of your of duty on your part, worthy. But, sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I. No such luck this time, worthy, or should I say, unworthy. What? Now, what was the second rule of evidence law? Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright, huh? Oh, well, it's, uh, rule two. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. Color gets made for, like, scraps of pennies and slapped together in packs of five and marked up way too fucking much, like, five. Yeah. Yeah. Pounds to dollars, because pounds is, like, 1k to one. Okay.
And how is this rule relevant? Normally submit a list, a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So what does that mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court. This connection, the connection was just proven by Raito over here. Good job, Raito, my boy. He's sucking up to me too much. I'm not, I'm not getting. I'm getting odd vibes from him. That and he insulted Edgeworth. Imagine not using cutlery out of your ancestors' bones. There's there's a place up here that actually makes uh, like cutlery from bones. It's actually quite cool. Huh? Oh, uh, I I was just doing my job. No. No. It seems we have come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy. What with all the, those rumors. You weren't even in the defendant's chair just this past December. Or you were even in the defendant's chair just this past December. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. But Mr. Edgeworth, please just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened, if it's the last thing I do. I have like no connection to half my family because most of them are in an entirely different country. And all the old people died when I was a toddler. Yikes. Sorry for that. Why in the Wallace family crypt and steal some bones? <laughs> you better get some results this time, really. You have my profound apologies, sir. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I'll grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is, I hope for your sake it's not decisive. Very well, court is adjourned. Hold on, hold on. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, there we go. Uh, do, do you guys think we have enough energy to keep going? Oh, so this weird guy on the internet told me to make color out of my family's bones. I mean, one thing I'd... Oh. I've only been streaming for an hour and 16, but... More than an hour, huh? Yeah, time goes fast. Up to you, my man. I think we could, I think we should go just so like I don't feel like don't feel entirely stupid about uh getting lost in that loop. Because I made one stupid error. Um, Mr. Wright, so, what's going on with the case anyway? I'm a little confused. Huh? Um, let's see. What is going on? The victim, the victim detective Bruce Goodman was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? Fuck the law, rob some bones, fuck some ads. <laughs> Fuck, Rob, fuck. You know how it goes. Prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. 30 minutes. Gotta know that. Oh, that's what we're going to find out. Or try to, at least. Alright, let's do it. Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Does she just, like, read our minds or something? Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? Okay, but I, I do like her character. That video game make me happy. <laughs> so it's crack cocaine. Uh, okay. 
I'll prove that these thick rimmed glasses of mine are just for show. Let's go, science awaits us. Plastic Gear's office, underground parking lot. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department merger. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Yeah, it was only your victim who was killed in their evidence room. No biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That oil drum. Was it empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Disclaimer, I don't do hard drugs. Yes, you do, Sphix. Unironically, I felt that basically the exact same for the past week. Not exactly good, but bad. But not bad. I I, I know. I think that's how I I felt uh, like last weekend. What I think it might be is like the changing of pressure, like barometric pressure, because it, it just you kind of feel null and void inside. Oh, did I hide? Was there a hydrate that I missed? No, I didn't hydrate. But will anyways. The barometric pressure, like um, like the the low pressure, the the dark gray clouds, weather. Lost my damn hard drive containing all my mods for Minecraft. Oh, like it got corrupted. Shit, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, I just lost? Well, hopefully you'll be able to find it again. Don't know where it is. I wish there was, like, tracking devices you could put on, like, things like that. You think there would be? My sister erasing evidence of the crime scene? Never. Even though she's, uh, even though she, they, they, she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. Yeah, she's a fucking mind reader. What the hell? Once a month I go from everything is great to I'm going to fucking die, life is meaningless, whatever happens after death, to everything is mediocre, then repeat. What? That's... My, my, my guidance counselor when I went to college... I actually talked talk to me about that. It's 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 depression. You 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 have uh, like emotions are are like like a wave like. All right, I think we're back. Hopefully all good. I, I'm, I, I saw chat going through and I don't, my OB officer just like, nope, fuck you. And I don't know why. Oversharing same for another time, all right. Detossed by Edgeworth. <laughs> also, I forgot to say hello, 74. How's it going? Dead. But anyways, I was, I was before, before the thing cut off, I was talking about, like, the highs and lows of standard emotion. And depression is just, just, sorry, depression is just, like, a general shift of, like, the entire wave down. So your highs are less, but your lows are lower. Just something to think about. Like, if, and like, quote unquote, de curing depression, there's no actual cure for it, is just raising that wave so it's just slightly higher. 
so that your highs are higher and your lows are not as low. Why, why is my internet freaking the fuck out? Son of a bitch, dude. I'm just empty inside? No, you have organs. And Gumbo, I, 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 I offer the same thing as Figs. If you ever, and this, this goes for anybody, really. If you, if anybody needs someone to talk to, my DMs are always open. I might not get back to you right away, but I like, I'll try my best to say something or respond. I mean, you're about to go to Amazon to buy filament for my 3D printer. Ooh, I love 3D printing. That's not it at all. It's just we're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. Ha ha ha. Uh. Emma? Dude. Have you seen Art Slash Place? I have not, no. I'm probably going to watch a video of it later. I, I like watching, like, the... I vandalized the ratch. There's a ratch? I got okay. I got to get to do a quick seed. Fuck! There's a lot of anime there. Get a great lunch, back back in a few. Okie doke, Miss Guy. Probably not short on the screen. Probably five PPs per square pixel. <laughs> I like seeing the Redditors get mad over something they're going to fix in five minutes regardless. I I think it's just a general, like, interesting way to see, like, a war happen without any blood loss, you know? Ignore the strength of my science at your own will, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? The situation calls for one thing, and that is... Luminol testing fluid. Luminol? A lot of sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a little water. If you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but watch your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. I usually don't care for NSFW stuff, but it gives the streamers less areas to look at. What do you mean? Like, are you are you saying that streamers shouldn't watch it? Me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. We're testing blood stains with the stuff, not drinking it. Here, look. I'll lend you. Oh, cool. Here, look. I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You have an extra pair of those things. It says for a blood reaction, just spray the luminol on it. Like this, see? Press enter and spray it on. Okay, let's find us some blood stains. Isn't this how you also find cum? Streamers probably attack the place solely to anger people and destroy artwork. Namely, XQC and Miskiff. I mean, those those are just their communities. I don't say think streamers as a whole. Like... It's, it's, it's a double-edged knife. Like, a, a streamer should know how to use their chat. Like, and things, things will get destroyed in the long run anyways with r slash plays. You can't exactly not, you know... I know of one Turkish streamer who actually helped people against the void. Nice. 
Well, I mean, it's it's a global effort, Cheeto. I'm I'm excited to see like people of, because people know that it's just like. Excuse me. The internet will always be like a worldwide thing, and if people people from all over like want to collaborate and like put something like there, and like it, it there'll always be like funny wars. The void is annoying. I I have yet to see. I have yet to hear anything about the void. I don't know what the void is. Funny fix quote from MK. Twitch, please harvest my data properly. What you think? I'm interested. in... An e thought booba stream when I'm raging homosexual. <laughs> oh, trust me. When I make skybreakers, I'm gonna have huge fucking caca. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not actually. I can see your eyes shining behind those glasses. So this is a blood stain. Uh, it's so. Uh, Emma, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Okay. Well, I definitely know that this is a blood stain. But doesn't does, does something strike you as odd, scientifically speaking, of course? What's odd about this scientifically? The amount of blood. I'm going to join Sky Factory World to grief. Or, I mean, build stuff. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, okay. Uh, Cheeto, before you go, if you find any... Uh, uh, withering souls. Can you please drop them by at my place? I'm trying to build a uh, nether star farm. Please pet your techno witches. <laughs> Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean... Look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd have to be, have been more blood than this. Oh, hey, Mr. Wright. I'm going to mark up the floor plans for when we when we find a bloodstain, okay? See? I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Ah, yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy, too. I saved up my allowance to buy that. We can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit their view of the case. So let's drag that evidence into the, hit, uh, into the light of day. Feels like we're really investing a crime scene now, doesn't it? Guess I should give the spray on anything suspicious. Ha! I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. For some reason, someone found the time to count every single Among Us crewmate on the entire canvas. Okay. My parents haven't cared of what I would do throughout the day as soon as I want to make lunches at three at six thirty PM I can't wow. Uh at that point it would be dinner, wouldn't it? Make toast. They can't complain about toast if it's already made. No one wants cold toast. No one would eat cold toast. My mom just sent me grocery shopping and I'm pretty sure she committed an OSHA violation. What? I ate dinner at like 9 p.m. Oh, okay. Miss Star. You only trust your own eyes, hmm? Not bad, you two. This day old deli box is on the house. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead doesn't really get my mouth water. Come on. This blood must be from when Lana... No, my sister isn't the murderer. But she did call you, didn't she? At the time of the crime? And her right hand is bandaged. Hey, just say who's, whose side are you on? This has nothing to do with taking sides. 
So this man means Lana's hand had blood on it. It just keeps getting worse. Cereal choco balls and it's breakfast will be fun. Nice. Ooh, the sky is a really nice, interesting orange. I'm excited. I actually gotta go grocery shopping tomorrow. I like grocery shopping. I get to find what I want to eat. It certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but. No, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. I witnessed everything from that security room right there. But I was afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry, you lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important in here. Even though the place I witnessed the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. Chief Prosecutor stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. Ah. I swear it on my honor as a detective. She stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? I like when I don't have to carry 10 kilo bags around. Ah, yeah. But like... When, when you get the good shit snacks? Oh, the good shit snacks are good. So you were a detective, weren't you, mister? Yes. It was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hard on the criminal, when they faced me, they coughed it up. Coughed it up? They confessed. They babbled like babies. Some shit from a furry separate is still standing. I'm impressed. You know what? I, I, I hate to do this. If you guys can find a space to make a very, very tiny bonfire in our slash place. Or or just like do something. And take like, take a screenshot of it. I, I will I will I will love you guys. Just cause for a brief moment the bonfire put their mark there. You know, it may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. Uh, Rose, I don't think uh, Gumbo was trying to be malicious there. Just added a red pixel and a green net. <laughs> nice. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. Before long, they called me. The cop of Queen. Oh, here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. And you were let go? Uh, fired? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident. SL9. Wait, she doesn't mean... Um, what do you think about this? The SL9 incident. It's written on that knife. And on that note. Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. Really? That knife was evidence from that case. The murder weapon. It was due for transferal the very day that Goodman was killed. As I suspected. SL9 isn't over. Not yet. I found the word come. Nice. The 
Mori Logo has been destroyed three times and already it's still standing. I've never played a Mori. Nor I've heard much about it. Every time I see something about it, it's, it's like a new clusterfuck of images. Canada still hasn't drawn their, uh, their maple leaf yet. I have I have seen the maple leaf. Moist, I think Moist was showing it yesterday. I think it was drawn over though. You can tell us more about the SL9 instance. Oh, so you got fucking nuked? Yeah. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. Detectives are fuming around, uh, running around so fast they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense. A detective did get killed here, after all. Why is OC even that popular? It's, a, it's just one of those, another one of those rhythm games that people get really stuck on. And things, something like Clone Hero, where you can just add your custom music, just adds more to it, you know? See how, how, see how inane you can make things difficult. Still being able to, like, play it. I I don't think I don't even think it's the weebery about it. I think it's just the more that you can add like uh custom like music cuz cus as soon as you al allow people to add something custom, the game adds, becomes a ton more popular. Minecraft would not be as big as it is if there, if you didn't have like the ability to add mods and shit like that. I'd love to try to add mods to Skybreakers, but I don't think People seem to only nuke Osu because of weebs. Yeah, yeah. So the evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk, here it is. She's like in a kid in an amusement park. Ooh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Oh boy, I know where we are. It appears that the trans in UK gave up on their peace heart. The UK didn't want their flag. Yeah, Reddit, Reddit, Reddit is cringe. Oh, hold on, what did you, what did you say, General? Oh, so it was based off a game that kind of flopped but had a big fan base. So the fan base might, might have migrated. Do you know which game it was based off of? Evidence from entrance, guard station. Most of the decor in this place. It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. So on the outer door is the evidence room. The scene of the crime? Sure seems that way. Oh, oh. What's wrong? It's those cacti. They're so prickly. It's imposing. It's hard to think straight. I'm going to make the bonfire. You're actually going to make the little bonfire logo? It's basically what Osu is now, but without the, new, the customization. Ah, okay. Awesome, this guy. If you are, if you are able to, do, if you guys are able to do it, please share a screenshot. Like, leave, 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 leave a mark in the world. I, I'd, I'd appreciate. It. Just no, no more malicious. Like, if no, no, not on a trans flag or not on a like a, a pride flag or. Ba basically, somewhere where it wouldn't be too imposing, you know. We might be coordinated enough, but there's griefers to do with. It doesn't even have to be big. It could just be like a small little uh, X symbol. Actually, let me let me sh let me show you the symbol. Just to be like a, the the little the little bonfire doesn't have to be like that big. You can just add like six pixels of the fire. Just make it like green and black. There's a Sylvia. On it. It's not already owned. No.
If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. What I want to know is if this is a guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. It looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says recording. I bet we could use this computer to check out who went who went in and out of here. The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. You thought it'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Took Reddit fucking dying for people to make art on the flag. <laughs> Someone just replaced my pixel, damn it. Yeah, there's probably a group of people who are like... There's less, there's a trap here. Lock on the floor, unless so. Looks like it's set up to trap something. The trap here? Wait, I know. Maybe it was someone was trying to cra catch a wild bull in here. But the lasso missed. You sure have an active imagination. I'm just happy that my second favorite Pokemon hasn't been hornified. But somehow Dream has. Wait, Sylvia? Oh, no. Is, is there a fucking Dream in r slash place? There's a dream with big booba for some reason. Please take a picture of that and uh, post it in memes. Uh, as long as it's not, you know, NSFW. It's not NSFW yet. Okay, so take a take a picture. Anyone remember when Murica had 108 stars on a flag? It, what? The swinging door makes a place look like some kind of saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. You can't get, get get in that way. Of course not. If you want it through here, the cactuses would fall over. Ouch. I'd say it'd more be of a yar myself. I'll send it only to you final. Thank you. This is a security guard uniform hanging there. Looks more like a costume than a uniform, honestly. A leather jacket, leather pants, and a leather... What was that called again? A punchy? Ponchy? Punch, pinchy? I know, a poochie. Mm, wait, maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, but I'll keep that information to myself for the time being. Alright, time to see this curse. I... I... Viscerally, viscerally hate that. I hate looking at that. The American flag had 108 stars before. It was just trying to look to me like they actually got it right this time. Yeah, Mer American. Uh, no, no, no offense to you guys, but Americans aren't the smartest. I'm peak yeehaw. <laughs> X, these are sure are prickly. They must be the real deal. I would think one, just one big one would be sufficient. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. How so? Case in a cold, rigid shell with spines pointing in every direction. Just like her. I'm not so sure I see the resemblance. It's more an attitude thing than a physical, a physical similarity. Okay, so I can't actually be here. <laughs> America! Fuck yeah! Oh, thank you for the ad, Aya. See you guys on the other side.
You know what I kind of want to see? I kind of want to see Canada fuck, yeah. Like an actual good one. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing, the whole police department has been dancing around crazy like crazy since yesterday. Can I take out his batteries? I just can't help but feel like he's going to do something naughty. He's going to spank your dad. <laughs> We've totally invested the game and we're discussing random shit. <laughs> I thank you for the hydrate. I want that badger to burn in hell. It is a creep. Asshole, what the fuck? My cat just attacked my elbow and then ran off. <laughs> Why are you being a sharp boy? I see you. Gotcha. Oh, boy. Elohim. I'm holding him now, guys. Why did you bitey boy? Why are you fighty bitey boy? Final as a flower smote. No. Why are you still sharp? Hmm? My cat gave me new war wounds on Friday. <laughs> you know, he just he just I I I I have my 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 jug beside me with my water. Uh, and so like I I I I put my arm down to grab it and I lifted it back up and as as I did, he just runs up and claws my elbow. People on the internet are weird, especially the dream sacrals. I, I, to be honest, I hate people. I'm not. I'm not sure if I've talked about with you around. Uh, I have no respect for dream. Wow, everybody, everyone looks deadly serious around here. Well, there was a vicious murder of a detective down at the police department. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. Prosecchi tour slot. Humans as a species are weird, yeah. But I mean, at least we're capable of thought, and that's the thing. Ugh, it makes my head hurt. Well, first things first. Let's go check out the police department crime scene. Yes, you sound dead set on investigating. But don't does don't mess up or we can wind up dead. I don't want I doubt anybody wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. But it doesn't look like anyone's gonna help us much either. In my opinion, Dream himself ain't bad, it's his fan based. He needs to get them under control. But that's the problem. He won't. And he's gone on, I think he's gone on record for saying he won't. That's a, that's, and that's my beef. He's actively told people to like, do, do bad things, you know? The cats were both outside at the same time. It's been three weeks since cat one gave birth. So I assume cat two would have just shout out kit, her kittens if now she had any. Hot chocolate bombs I found, uh, you told me you found chocolate bombs in your cereal, but no, I don't think you have. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, I guess we go to the department store? Department store? No. What the fuck am I talking about? Detention center. He's worse than Jellybean? Jellybean? Who's, who's Jellybean? I mean recipe. No, you have not. I saw sauce that recipe. If it's an actual like hot chocolate bomb, I want some.
Jelly Bean is just a Minecraft cringer. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm a Minecraft cringer, I think. But I read weird internet lore, and I don't know that dude. I I, I should probably look him up, get get myself educated, you know. They were responsible for that. It's not a mistake. It's a masterpiece thing a while ago. I I don't know about that. Jelly Bean is a PNG tuber who needs to back away from her mic and tell her fans, her fan base to spam stuff and other. Tell her tells her fan base to spam stuff on other streamers' chat. Really? Okay, you know what? Let me let me do a quick search here. From what I remember, they, they actually did try to get the fans to calm down. The fans being eight-year-olds didn't listen. Well, if you guys get out of hands, you guys for damn sure know I'm going to self-destruct myself. Probably do something reprehensible on the internet. And then it'll end up like getting everyone to hate me. I'd rather be hated than like shit like this happen, you know? Even if even if the, the thing is, Gabo, no. Even if, even if what I do or say is false, like I don't want to, yeah. Looks like Miss Guy's in questioning. Oh, the detectives aren't yelling at her. How did you kill him in two places at the same time? Can you imagine how she's supposed to answer that? Wait a second. Did Mr. Gant say they'd arrested a suspect in the police department murder? Let's come back later. If we got a control, your pubs ain't gonna stream for a while and get recognition for something bad. It, yeah, exactly. I I don't want to I don't want to ruin like Skybreakers as a game. As as a streamer, I would do something reprehensible. I don't know what I would do, but like, ooh, hot chocolate bombs. Okay, can you sauce that to me in Discord? I problem is. Now, now that I'm making my own game, it's uh, like a double-edged edge knife. If I do something on stream, it'll affect me as a game developer. If I do something as a game developer, it'll ex ex affect me as a streamer. I literally murdered a toddler. Haha, <laughs> XD so funny and relatable. I... I honestly don't know what I would do. Just demod me and I cry on Twitter. <laughs> like I said, I it's it's at this point it's a double edged knife. I'd rather you guys not get out of control. I I will fucking do something. And but I, I trust you guys not to, that's the thing. Yeah, there's a reason I'd leave my stream as eighteen plus and that's because I want like I know I know there's quite a few people who are under eighteen here. But the uh, the over eighteen is for maturity's sakes. Like you guys should be able to handle uh, the things talked about here. And if you guys can't handle the things talked about here, I if things if things go wrong, I ex like I, w I would have fully expected you guys to go off and like explode on like someone else's stream if I say something wrong. Like oh. You're you're not as good as final. Like if you guys ever say that, if I ever hear, like you're you're not as good as final or any anything else, I I will crack down hard on you. Yeah. God, today there were some toddlers at the mall. I saw red punch a toddler. Yeah. I I I hate parents who don't control their kids. Like I I I understand that control is like probably a really harsh word. But like, at least have some a uh, modicum of respect for the other people in a public setting, you know. 
Like, there are people there that don't want to listen to a kid screaming at the top of their lungs about some BS that's happening. But whatever. Well, this place is as classy as it was yesterday. And I'm sure it'll still be just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Incidentally, Edgeworth's not here. I'm sure he's off doing important investigations. I hope that's what he's doing. I guess we'll have to come back. No one is better than anyone. Now, they may be better in drawing or flexibility, but no one is perfect. Exactly! I was tempted to say you're not as good as Final when you're when you're using Initials Avatar for those few days, but that's fine because you you guys know that it's the it's the same person, like behind behind the two masks, and I and I hate using masks because of a uh, dream and whatnot, but like I'm a fucking VTuber. You guys know that there's an actual real human behind this. I I I break in character like that, but you guys know what I mean. Like if you try to insult me, using me, that's understandable. Aren't you? A, you are no. I am a deity. <laughs> but like I, I I I then that that's why I love this community because you guys actually know that there's a fucking distinction. Are you playing skits in a bird with another universe? No, I send him emails every so often. All all I get back is chicken scratch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't you love it when you have ideas on what to make and then realize you don't know how to execute those ideas? Yeah. All the time. I once said that Minecraft X was better than the sword and I got called a dream stand, so I... So, now I just don't play... And I hate... I, I hate... Like there's there's the dream stands, but almost just as bad as the like the quote unquote anti stands. It fucking. I want a Minecraft mace. Maces are fucking cool. They're my favorite melee weapon. All right, everyone. Everyone in chat, say your favorite melee weapon. Ignores armor slightly or whatever, but attack slow. Yeah. Sword, daggers, good choices, good choices. Or threads? What's a threads? Scythe? Scythe is a good one. Scythe because of the cool, yeah. I like gener generic curved single edged swords like sabers and shit. Uh, sabers aren't curved. Are you talking about like a scimitar or something? With the animated yesterday, I tried to draw a pouncing fog, eventually succeeded. That's like a Google ref for reference images, but the Google wasn't that helpful because I couldn't find what I was looking for. Okay. I f got headed by a thread. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, sh like, like beheaded. Oh fuck. Spath. Spath is a cool one. Sabers are curved. People are. Are they? Let me check. Oh, they are. Oh, I'm thinking of a cutlass. Damn, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, like the scythe and cod mobile. The tiny scythe melee weapon. Hmm. That does seem like a fun weapon. You can tell us more about SL9. What do we get to tell, tell them more about SL9?
I like the whole cryptic aesthetic using threads as weapons. Like a hitman. <laughs> Yo, who can place in tile and r slash place them in the very bottom right corner and I want to get the bonfire? How, how do you view uh, r slash place? Very bottom right corner. Five pixels above that. Oh. I don't know. I am green with sky. <laughs> I really don't know how to operate this fucking thing. Oh, I'll, I'll let you guys do it, and then if you guys can do it, let, let me know. SL9, wait, she doesn't mean... How do I get her to talk about that? I had one of those up until two years ago, back when you're coffin queen, right? I found this ID card here in the parking lot. Well, there's no mistake in that. It's definitely good ones. But it's the same idea as the man who was killed in the police department. That's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. You take a look at this. You? Yes? Uh. Crack your bones, thank you. Uh. Want me to pose a sketch of the char new character concept I have? Sure. Sketches are always nice. You have to brew the leaves a long time to get rich flavor like this. We brew, okay, whatever. Am I missing something with the lemon all? Sorry, this is annoying. I'll call this entire fucking place on Luminol. Imagine the whole of our place was made by one person with all accounts. Honestly, wouldn't put it past people.
you know, this game would be really dark if you go to the right and cold offices, use the luminol spray on where, uh, spoiler alert for people who haven't been in here, uh, on where, uh, Mia died, and there would still be blood there. Actually, no, I'm kind of curious to see. Actually, what to do? What well, should we begin? Oh, well, it's an obvious. We should begin with that, you know, that thing. The mystery of the victim, I guess. How can we kill in two places simultaneously? What do you see? We should go to the police department. The evidence room was in. Uh, I'm not being very useful here, am I? No, no, you're being very helpful. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy, what with all those rumors. You were in the defendant's chair just at this past December. We're all the same person reincarnated several trillion times. Yeah. That person's clearly gumbo. Shout out to my camera for uh, seeing the head sketch I made as a face. <laughs> you crab sphinx. Yes, me crab. <laughs> ooga booga crab me. <laughs> I don't even know what I'd do if I had control over a uh, place. Cocks all over the place. Yeah, probably. Just... Non-stop rampant dicking. <laughs> there was that business with him not reading that office report. Ah, about the killing at the police department, right? The chief of police was right about that, but I can't help but think someone at the police department doesn't like Edgeworth. Time to see if this place gets dark. Damn it, I thought that would be funny. I know my pixel every f I place my pixel every five minutes knowing damn well it's gonna get covered. I mean that's just kind of the fun of it. Seeing if you can outlast other people. I might to make one of those shared drawing boards so we can make <laughs> cockas. Uh Maybe the future. I, I might do that for, like, another uh, idiot fucks makes a thing and just, like, open it to everybody, you know? Actually, let me try something. Uh... Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Find the cum. I'm sorry if the spraying is annoying, but I'm trying to figure out what to do. It was Mount Cock. I make a Discord to only reduce the amount of trolls. Burn the badger. Why can't you just spray the police with the spray? Isn't that like BS law? Oh, versus law. No idea. <laughs> Take that, copper. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, did the thing not play? You gotta go see you later if you're still streaming. Okay, okay, Miss Guy. Take care, dude.
Okay, I refresh it. The next, uh, uh, remind me in a bit, and I'll do the sound thing again. I don't know how I describe myself in one word. I know what I describe myself as. Dumbass. The fuck am I doing wrong? Oh, I just gotta be as fix. Yes, because fix is special to us. Yay! <laughs> Think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room. But even I get flustered sometimes. So you want to say to the scene of their crime? I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's where I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime? Those five minutes are the whole problem. The whole of my testimony, as it were. Those five minutes weren't the problem, Mr. You were lying was the problem. Listen, little girl. I've had my testimony disgraced before. I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time. <laughs> I don't know what's like it today. Yeah, my thing just jumps between, uh, like, green and, like, yellow. Search Catboy on the Xbox Store and one came up. But the Catboy in that game isn't even the good kind. Uh oh. I'm sure I haven't even done examining. where we found that note. 221 SL9. SL9 incident. The case was due for transfer that day. The detective in charge of the case was the victim. I wonder what kind of case this SL9 incident thing was. It's kind of hard to just guess knowing the case number. Did you know that insert always no one? Okay. Just some cat themed children's superhero. Oh. You know what you know what you can use as a Linux console? The KFC console. It's about as red as a, an, as a sports car can get. Yep, it's pretty red all right. The body was found in Edgeworth's car trunk. The lock of the trunk was broken too. So the question is why did Miss Sky choose this car? So what my model car is it? I think it was called sedan or coupe or something like that. Those are car types, Mr. Wright, not models. You're a guy, aren't you, Mr. Wright? You're supposed to know these things. Maybe it's about time I get my driver's license. Death rope, isn't it? Yep, they laid it at the outline of the victim's body. So wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. You've got to be the only person that I would know that would come to that conclusion. So this is the famous oil drum. Well, no time like the present. I'll try to kick it over myself. Hiya! And that's okay, don't cry. That Lana Sky must be one strong woman. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears, just know my ears. Oh, okay. So you can hear just fine. The phone's broken. Emma, that's sexist. I'm a dude. I don't know shit about cars. I only know some stuff because I 
before I, well, I was given a car, like a junker car by my parents, like, I, I was told, like, the basics of maintaining one just so I can drive to it from college. So that's where <laughs> car go room. Gumbo, you're the master of cars. So that's where Mr. saw the incident from. You can probably see quite a lot from up there. Hmm. Probably means she wasn't lying when she said she saw Miss Sky stab him. Where's the security guard anyway? Oh, that's just something I heard. But apparently he went out to buy coffee for Miss Star. That woman is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, now she shows the yes, on that incident. And Envy's magic. Or just being gay. Being gay is a form of magic. That incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. Or nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable to who? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I ever handled. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So, they didn't solve it? On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Wow. They executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was, they never did find decisive evidence. Not a shred. What? But the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort. Made up evidence. What? You mean, they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself and one other person you know well. What could it be? Exactly. Detective Jake Marshall. The real treasure was the gay we found along the way. Yeah, more gay! Just realized that my PFP is a top bat. It's a witch hat. It's is that? I thought it'll look straight. Let me see, let me see here. Oh, cause it cuts off at the top. Of the, 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 cause it makes it looks like it's uh, cut off, like a like a top hat. And I guess if if you if it showed the entire thing, it would it would be a like a conical. Oops. I mean. Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Jake was particularly determined. And then it was over. And he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9. There was another side to the case. A hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one up no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait. Those lunches you sell. There's only one reason I come to sell lun lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet old friends. The boyfriends that can help me investigate. The new persona is wearing a, t a little top hat, so nice. I forgot I had a phone, so I'm back on my phone. Nice! Welcome back, Masai. Oh, fucking back scratch. Holy shit. Might edit it again just to make the, fa the face bigger. <laughs> just 
fucking had a fucking back scratch. Shit. Just when all the detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. So, rookie. What? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes. Then you should take this. A Salisbury steak lunch. I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Steak lunch. Once my laptop dies, gets back to normal, I'm making Catboy Gumbo. <laughs> Officer Marshall, is he, uh, are, are you his going out? Are you going out? Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. Long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was nice to me too, back then. This would be when Officer Marshall was a detective. But now, now he's so cold. Jake and I are really cooperating on this investigation. We're betting the past, past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. Ibis Paint? Is that... I guess it's your, your phone art program. I, I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. I wish I knew code to make a decent Krita Android port. Is Krita open source? This place is charged with frantic energy, as always. Please. Huh? Wasn't that? One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you. Detective Gumshoe. Now, no, now's no time for chit chat, pal. I'm a busy man. What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. I think I just sound, heard the sound of his heart breaking. Oh... No. Oh, I made Gumshoe sad. Yes, baby's on its last legs. Oops, you dropped it. Time for a new one. <laughs> Now's no time for despair. We've caught our criminal. Now we just need evidence. The criminal, you mean... You heard about the stabbing of the police department evidence room, right, pal? On the same day, the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot. Another detective was killed at the police department? And the perpetrator, do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect, just arrested him, in fact. This kills me. I know it says Ibis, but you're supposed to say IBIS as separate letters. Oh! Okay. I wonder what IBIS stands for then. IBIS. I-B-I-S. The, the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything stops you turvy. But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, all I know is that I need me a steak lunch pronto. Standing around here talking isn't going to fill my belly. I love him. Well, hey, don't leave. If you want to know more, head on down to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over. So I figure he's down there having a good cry. Later. He ran off to the evidence room. All this investigation is off to a running start. Uh, ain't I BS that fart chronic condition? Uh, yes. 
Sorry about the shit stop, stop spelling. My laptop is dead ass shitting itself. No worries. If you need to head off, head off. Okay, either if GIF sounds like it's pronounced, or the GIF sounds like it's pronounced GIF, but I don't care what creators say about pronunciation. Exactly. Like, KKK is spo supposedly supposed to be pronounced KKK, but everybody knows how you really say it is racist assholes. Let's say it's pronounced with a soft G. J. <laughs> Still, I do feel better about things. A little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. Let's not go down, uh, go too far down that road right now. Things will just get confusing. What was that? So that's what I'm saying. Me, a perpetrator? I'd say I was perpetrated against, sir. That's what I'd say. Oh, no. Oh no. I felt so bad for this guy. Uh oh, uh hi, greeting sir. Wait, I know who you are. Excuse me, but is uh Mr. Edgeworth here anyone on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, so you're guard here at the detention center. No, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman, like a little lost lamp, sir. I get it, you're here to deliver a port? No, sir, I, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't, is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't, did you? Uh, perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir. What? What? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. Sir, I'm a patrolman with the General Affairs, sir. Sir. Uh, how can you... I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir. And so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room? That's right, sir. Because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now, the office security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. Marshall. Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir. So, you don't have PTTV? Oh, on your phone, yeah. A suspicious a person in this evidence room. A suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person. Yeah. Uh, what the heck is this guy doing? I feel so bad for him. So what happened then? After that, sir, I... I Everything went white. I saw red. I blacked out. And then, when I came to, I was here. In the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Um, might I ask? What happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand, just like my sky. As I found out yesterday, it turns out the 480p is a lot higher quality than I initially thought. Yeah. My Hydra emote looks good at mobile. It does look good at mobile. I'm honestly happy with 480 or above. For most things, yes. I'm, I'm totally in agreement.
yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. My standards are low too. In most things. First things first, tell us how you hurt your hand. I might not mean to pry, but are you the perpetrator? You are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir. Ow. If you have to label me as a perpetrator or victim, sir, then label me victim. Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention. And alive and well at that. Gamers want 4 4K graphics with 69 420 FPS, so the cool kids are fine with 12 pixels and seconds per frame. I'm watching the, this new move about Marvel show Moon Knight. I've heard decent things about that. Let me let me know how you think of it. I'm curious. I'm not the biggest fan of Marvel myself, even less so a DC fan. But I'm always curious of how people think of things. Um. Uh, uh, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Do you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I'd say he leans heavily on the total stranger side. So you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light or other creature comforts. I don't know any other detectives. I feel so bad for this guy. He, he just, he just, yeah. I read one review that said it was the best, the, the best episode one out of every Marvel show, which is really a high bar. <laughs> so if he was a total stranger, why'd you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir. None. Nor do I have any re recollection of killing him, sir. There's someone around here who's more confused than I am. About your hand, did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, I, uh... Don't you think you should just confess? But sir, sir, but there was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do. Sir, to tell the truth, sir, when it happened. When the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. The next thing I knew, I was unconscious. Next thing you knew, you were... Uh-huh. Then when I opened my eyes... I was alone in the evidence room, sir. All alone. All alone because Detective Goodman had disappeared. Dinky Capitalist Pork. At least Pork is good. Well, you, you, you gotta you call you gotta call Disney something else. Honestly, it's not even true. I watched episode one, but much prefer the first episode of pre Disney Plus Marvel shows. Yeah. The one TV show, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or something, that was actually the best Marvel show. Agents Was that the one with Samuel L. Jackson? I love, I love Samuel L. Jackson. Daredevil balding compared to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> Ethan Rich, yeah. When I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Visceral. Oh, the shock. Oh, the sore, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared. Hmm. That's some story. Eek! I'm scared of knife, sir. It's okay, I just wanted you to take a look at it, sir. That's it, sir. Last night, sir, that's the one. I was an apple, sir, my dream, sir, and I was being peeled. On second thought, you don't have to look at the knife. He's overacting to the knife, but I guess he's been through a lot. <sighs> Slugs do suck. When I left in BC, they were all over the damn place. Missing something again.
Let's make a kid take a look at this. I'm sorry, sir. I'm really sorry, but I have no idea what that is. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edgeworth, sir. He's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. He's a special kind of man to pass the buck to Edgeworth. Man, I love being here. I'm having fun. Nice. I'm glad you're having fun. That's that's the other, that's the other thing I wanted to accomplish is to provide a place where people can actually feel good. You know. Well, as most people. Um, do you think you could take a look at this? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's what. My head was blank until this very moment. But sir, now I remembered. I remember, sir. You mean you remember what happened? Correct, that card. That card was the cause of it all. <laughs> I love that emote. Feels amazing, man. Fuck Gumbo, though? No. I can, I can name a couple people on Twitch that I don't want. Like... Them to, them to feel good in my in my area, you know. The bonfire is accepting of most, though I do I do have my own personal grievances with certain individuals. I love our ban list. Yeah, this card, exactly, sir. That's exactly it. Nothing could be more exact, sir. Nothing. I'd rather try this one a little deeper. Uh, okay. Can you tell me what it is you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little lost patrolman. A little lost slime, if you will. I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman who was in the... I didn't know Mr. De okay, who was in the evidence room. And that's why you thought he looked suspicious. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. That's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked detect Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did you do? That's the thing. Suddenly he pointed a knife at me. What? Sir, I assure you I was as flustered to you as you are right now. So I whooped him and I, I whooped and leapt at him. The moment I turn 18, I will open a new door of threats. <laughs> I'ma fuck your dad, I'ma fuck your dad, I'ma fuck your dad. I can only list three people whom so I do not want to experience joy. And I'm one who holds pretty petty grudges because it's not worth my time. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him. Do unto others before they do unto you. My own father's words, sir. What happened then? Well, my eyes, sir, everything went white. When I woke, I was here. N right. So, Officer Mikas, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman. And the victim, whom he met at the scene of the crime, didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, that's. That's, that's it, sir, that. That's what I wanted to say. That is, I did say something along those lines. Huh? But you still ended up here. He told me that I had to be that it had to be him, sir. On that day, at that time, Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't even remember the events clearly? No. But the videotape is quite clear. Huh? Videotape? From the security camera. The, the crime, my crime, the crime I swore to stamp out, it's there, it's me, it's on tape. And you waited until now to tell us that, this. I'm sorry, really sorry. I'll hand over my badge, I don't deserve it. No thanks, I have my own. <laughs> the sex tape. <laughs> I'm so mature, that's why it's 18 plus. No thanks, I have my own. I'll better, 
I guess we better go check out the crime scene. Alright, now let's move to the evidence room. Hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing at the Chief of Detectives desk. It's Police Chief Gant. Police Chief Gant. And you're sure this is this is all, hmm? You know, it means if there's anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's to it's most likely totally perfect. We checked all of his drawers. Lockers, garbage cans, bags, coat pockets, hats. Under his seat cushion, behind his computer monitor, inside his personal coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away, deal? Y yes, sir. We'll scout the place again, sir. Chief of the Detectives looks a little flustered. Ahaha, <laughs> right on my boy. How you been? Swim much? Why does he keep asking me if I'm swimming? My head, no contacts. He does, does he have his own sex tape? Who knows? <laughs> if he does have his... <laughs> if he does have his... Fucking own sex name, it's Meekins does a Peekins. <laughs> Good morning, producer. Why are you saluting it, Mr. Wright? Um, is Edgeworth going to be okay? Oh, worthy. Oh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Yep, well, they had no end of trouble with the boys since last year. You mean the incident at Bird Lake? It doesn't look good having a top prosecutor to sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right? Right, right? On? I hate looking at this guy from dead on. What are we talking about? Why does this old man have a sex tape? Not, not him, not him. A legend he was undefeated in his 40-year career. But in court, you fixed it, so he's caught for forging evidence. Oh, wait, I didn't do anything wrong. You did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what inquiry committee decides, they could be bad for worthy. What? Let's get what we having rumors made about her, too. Maybe? Yeah. Dictus. It's downright odd, I tell you. The, defect the detective getting killed on their turf, too, I mean. There being the prosecutors, I assume? Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? No, no, right oh, I can't give away all their secrets just like that. And this in particular? Well, it's a little sensitive, and I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyways. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets. Can't stand them. But you? It's a full-time dub just keeping the chief of uh, detectives trap shut. Ah, uh, he was the one you were picking on earlier? Huh? You saw that? Whoops. I wonder was... I wonder what was it that he wanted Detective Chief of Detectives to do. As if you could have cut, kind of discreetly ask him. I was sorry you had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the Chief of Police want you to do? Oh, see over there? That's Goodman's desk. You wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing I'll think but as long as the Detective Goodman is still there. Of course not. All except for this. Thank you a second. <laughs> Marry and steal your inheritance. <laughs> except for this. What? You kept something. Sure, why not? It's not important. You didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on it is February 21st. Better make a note of that, just in case. I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene.
Oh. Actually, I was wondering if, you could, if I could ask you a favor. Hmm? I never thought that they would come when Raido asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the evidence room. Now Raido. Actually, I'm sorry, I need to investigate after all. Raido, please, do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give, I'd give him $50, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show, you never know until you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Uh, hey, this is Detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir, it's an honor. You just run along now and do your best now. Later, folks. I just love proving your taste. <laughs> what color is techno? Uh, cyan? Pale cyan? Teal, maybe? I don't know. Looks pretty cool on my light bulb. Doesn't it just, just think a real idea? You seem happy. Yes, sir, because, sir, we get to go into the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad flu bad influence on the girl. <laughs> The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. I'm just fucking suddenly started getting dozy, holy shit. Techno is a shapeless void blob we didn't know this. <laughs> it won't open. Aha! The card reader's turned off, see? What is the security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well, what's made my Bambina sky so gray? Officer Marshall. Why does it have to be him? What's that? Why does it have to be him look for? As you may have surmised, this here is my saloon. Um, we're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw, that card you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw? Well, what you standing here for? Get along, little buggies. The crime scene's awaiting. Card reader's on again. While we're here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you, hombres. Did I say that right? I didn't say it with the H that time. Oh, please shoot me, Marshall. <laughs> please shoot me, Marshall. Is looking kind of good. I mean, whatever, whatever boats your floats, fix. <laughs> I just grabbed a picture of Techno Glove and just stole the color. Nice. So you're busy then? Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak with you. I actually said you had no mind to tangle with us. Ombres. But what if I presented meat? That smell. Ah, reminds me of Texas. Texas. <laughs> it's it's Avery. So Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this for my baby? Uh, yeah, Miss Star. W what's this? What? What's wrong? A filet steak lunch. I see, I see. I don't see. I wonder what it means. A region. Alright, Bambina. You win. 
ask m m m munch munch anything m munch snack. Well, it seems like he's willing to talk. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Ah, that poor little doggy. Poor guy. I keep getting his name wrong and calling him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from detector two years ago. Well, it might not look good, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. So, what were you doing around 5, 10, 15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was galloping down the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. Nope, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here, anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang-up job of keeping an eye on the place. Give me a security camera system? I don't take the machines much. Kind of like that stewed broccoli that sneak in next to your steak, you know? Miss Star told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. It, always, it was always my dream to be a rod hide wrangler on the scene of crime. That's all gone now. Like a drinking hole in a prairie fire. I swear to God, I will find whoever made Norton and fuck their dad. <laughs> Just because of the shit antivirus. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved on the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. There's some things you're better off not knowing, Pambina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago, the day of our case. That's right, the evidence transferals. Edgeworth was talking about the transferals, too. Ask them. Ugh. I, I hate Norton. I'm more of a Malwar Bites kind of guy. I know that maybe two of the machines in here do. Only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, you know? me and machines, well... I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. The easiest ones to understand are, the, are these here security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodmans, are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. The security guard and you reckon? One more thing. When you go to the evidence room, you need an ID card. That's the card reader by the door. I like it. now that I'm the Linux, so I don't need it, but it's good for Windows folk. Wait, does is there no like viruses for Linux? I feel like it seems kind of. Uh, Weird. I don't know. Card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. So this is the ID card record. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambi. I can't show you no more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on that record just now. I've seen that number before. Maybe I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing. This is a default antivirus, it's probably better than the half a shit antivirus you get exactly. Sorry, but could. Hmm. 
Oh fuck, I'm getting tired. So could you explain what this whole transfer thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. I kept here until the preceding detective supervision for two years. So we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? He goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the country sheriff's department. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral for old cases. Two years after the case is solved, it's closed forever. It's dead. Never to be reopened again. Never to be reinvestigated. And that happened to us all nine two days ago. The sheriff's back in the Wild West didn't place much faith in evidence. Well, the only fa thing they trusted was a shoot and hint. Um, this is neither the Wild nor West here. Haha, <laughs> but that's... That and this are two different things entirely. I I guess so? Oh, I'm lost. Looks like we need some evidence to get anywhere with this guy. This is the victim's ID card. Add the one that was on the ground of the parking lot. The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us that ID card record again. The fourth number, it's a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekin say? And the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So he asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? That's the thing, suddenly he pointed a knife at me. Crabbed. He had his ID card then. Why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Evidence room sector 3. It's quiet. The investigation must be over. So this is the evidence room. It's kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels like a morgue. N nice try, Mr. Wright. You, you can't scare me. Oh! Nick! Wow! Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. Aww. He's hurt. So is this true what I heard? Hold on a second, let me... Lord, please, do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'd give him $50, no problem. Sure, go ahead. Investigate that room to your heart's desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Gant, will loan anyone 50 bucks? Even me? Also, that's what you were talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission from the Chief. So now you're boss for a day. Come suck my man, chill. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Why am I getting tagged again?
First of all, you want to have this. Evidence room floor plans added to the court record. Detective Gumshoe, your boss for today? That's right, it's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're a boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? They're using yesterday's finding to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation. Again. I'm adamant, though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here, too, Detective Gumshoe? Haha, <laughs> of course. I'm a detective, after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? You know, I think I was going to cosplay some, uh, another person I could cosplay. I'd probably cosplay Gumshoe. I'll always believe Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the Inquiry Committee? Now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed and only one detective can open it. Using the ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on my third card since entering the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprints. Exactly, pal. The locker for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. So the the only locker we can open is our own. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles. On the other side of the handles is a sensor. And if it's the wrong person touches it, zap, you get a shock. If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't, aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Time to harvest fingers, yeah. So I'm sticking out of here. This is like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective uh, Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, whatever this evidence was opened recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathe into my own neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves the evidence hanging out a lot. We're not hanging out a lot, too. He doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat, either. If you're gonna talk about someone's uh, back, don't do it right in front of them, pal. Some sort of bulky equipment is gathering dust here. What sort of looking fishing pole that is? Ah, that's my personal pole. I never did get around to using it. Wait, I've seen that symbol before. Right, pal, that's the metal detector. The one that led to the solving of the case out of Gord Lake, remember? Oh, right. Wow, that feels like it was ages ago. And I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that's a bug sweeper. I'm sure it will come in handy in solving some case sooner or later. That cheap looking box? Can't judge a person or a machine by their cover. You gotta look at their heart. I really hope this this investigation day is ending soon. I'm getting really fucking tired. Oh, well, someone must have had something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps. 
There you go, pal, making me out to become Sonic, some kind of fool again. It's probably from the case. The case? Yes, online it's it, pal. See the sticker on the on the one of the pieces there? Another piece of SL9 evidence. I wonder if these pieces were in before whatever was broke. You might try to put it back together. Ha, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Oh fuck, okay. We're doing a puzzle here. Uh, it's Q and R. I'm good at puzzles, I swear. For a second, I thought this was Jackbox. You know, I, I can totally understand like where your where the thoughts may lay on that one. <laughs> hentai, is there a hentai minesweeper? Huh? Well, I think we did it. But it's missing. Some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that too far. I got that far too in two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, this doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. Anyways, how are you doing, Ska? What's this? Blood. It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright. What if the other blood stains left in the room? Why we should use the luminol. What is the sod paint doing here? This is the dawn of time. True art has always been a war against oppression. The fuck are you going on about? I don't think there's blue and yellow paints here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the Blue Badger. Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? Someone left a glove here, but only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal. Make me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know? I mean, SL9. It does have a tag on it. Doing good, nice. I will be scheduling a weekly time for prawn <laughs> shrimp games. Gumshoe is Gumshoe is the father of the blue badger. 
<laughs> Probably have added support record. Look, this one's open, and the red indicator light is above the door. Above the door is lit. The locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker. Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. Oh, fuck. I have a lot of evidence now. Bug maybe hot cocoa with the marshies. Let's go. Nice. Like homemade hot cocoa? Even still. That's awesome, dude. I'm, I'm actually kind of jealous. That must have been one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman. Was actually an alien. Gumshoe, I fucking love you sometimes. Or you're stupid. This proves that something really did happen in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. If you don't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. I knew this is someone's right hand. What? What's the matter, detective? This locker. It's mine. It's yours, please. You have to help me when they come to take me away. I promise you'll testify that it wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? Yes, I I, I would die for gumshoe. This is an important clue. I'll judge on the four points. Getting on you guys. Believe me, believe me, you can you can't trust the police. <laughs> what? But you're a detective. Getting a reaction here. There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. This just might be something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? It's called luminol testing fluid. Where'd you get hands in that? Huh? I'd like to get some too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where'd you get this, Emma? Huh? I always buy it by mail order. I'll go to jot this down on the floor points. I'm sure literally too dumb to commit a crime. He'd be like, what? No, that's impossible. It's legal. <laughs> Honestly, Gumshoe looks like the kind of guy who would try to hug you if you seemed like you were sad. Crowning achievement, a masterpiece, you might say. But art is always misunderstood, pal. Art. He was dancing proudly at the day of the award ceremony. But there were a lot of people coming and going after the ceremony. So they took the blue badger away for a while. Really? Why? Well, they said it was shameful or something like that. Shameful, I toiled night and day. I sympathize with Detective Gumshoe, but I can see why they did it. That's illegal. People can't do that. 
Detective Goodman's note. And that switchblade knife. I mean, it does most of the surprise out of anyone. Because the Assault Knight connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But what would everything from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. But that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? A serial killing. Oh shit. A serial killing. Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake, and Edward built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right up in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors about forged evidence. It's supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer all the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. <sighs> Sorry. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the, of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So it's Goodman who came in here at the time of the murder. Whoa! What is it? The, 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 that second number. It's not your ID number, is it, Dr. Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth. What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, what? What? Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Hey pal, look at the time. Was there something you need to be going to do? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm gonna go give them my report for the day. This might help, you know report. You need the note written on the back of the flyer. Well, it says nothing but no problems. Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. Is that a fucking menu? Maybe? I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you've got f friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. Just let me see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Oh, fucking really? Ah, yes. My apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. Right. He has the hotel bring him tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, yes. He brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? What was it helpful? Apparently a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. The real info is on the other side of Edgeworth. Techno, which is really funny. I gotta see this.
post in Technos Discord? Okay, I'll, I'll look at it later. Even included the spectacles. <laughs> Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think the whole thing has really taken a toll on him. You should post this all to BTTV so that like the respective streamers can use it. So how'd the inquiry committee go? Actually decided to tr treat this not as a case of concealing evidence. But as a communications error during the investigation. I gotta fucking take a swig. <laughs> Concealing evidence. Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You're lucky this time. Again. Again. I've heard that say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Oh. Hold on. I'm still presenting the prosecuting attorney. However. Something happened? They gave me control of the invest. They gave the control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department. Yes. Any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police. I can do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why I ask you why? All along, I've only done what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still, I've never seen him out of this, this set of swords. Let's show him that record now that his thing is on. Or my else is a dump for the gemotes. <laughs> Can you only post like a certain amount? I want to slather something in jam, but I have no jam. Why don't make some jam? It's really easy, just... If you, if you have some fruit, pour a bunch of sugar in it, and then a pot, dissolve, dissolve the sugar and mix it around thoroughly, making sure it doesn't burn. Boil it down so it's just, like, just thick enough that it just, like, drips off a spoon. Pour it into a bowl so it cools down, and then you, and then you rub it on something, whatever you want to slather and jam. So as I know, you can only post 15 emotes. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Alright, I'd better check this now. As I was saying, I... What's this? A record of ID card usage. Edgeworth, you went into that evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. By Chief Gant, no less. The Chief of Police. You wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. You told me you wanted it to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. But it was solved, right? It would have to be in it would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is not never one to explain himself. In any case on the day of the stabbings I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. I'm curious about this other case. Better make a note of it. Stubborn as always, I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. Hmm. Imagine having any emote limit, yeah. I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? What else to do with that case you were on? The SL9 incident. And some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You're the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. You must be talking about his father's murder in the elevator. Heck. 
Okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. The S-09 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time, Damon Gant. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago too then. He was a top officer, it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Did all the shortcuts on my desktop because I don't use them, and now I have to search for shit that's cringe. That's why I just use Windows, just to go in the bottom, unless it's a video game, then I use Steam. If I just click on it, search, do whatever, boom. Why you get nervous too, Edgeworth? What I don't want to know why is it definitely cheap at least on the investigation. In truth, they use slightly more extreme methods than normal. You're dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't. Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. He doesn't will do anything by power to win a trial. However, I do have a code, and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My sister, what? If you were still studying forensic science? Uh, yes, of course. Why just today, Mr. Wright, now we're using this. Luminol testing fluid, hmm? Well then, you might have use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints. GNOME doesn't even let you by default. Is is GNOME like a Linux subset or something? It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. For me, are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. You take your powder, powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I up, uh, thanks. What can we use to Detective Gumshoe as well? Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. For fingerprints, def definitely for making. Definitely not for making. I don't get what that word that you redacted was supposed to be. MK pink sound, I have mine set as a Taco Bell bar. <laughs> nice. Oh, she's gone. Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here in this blood on the evidence's locker. Let's see the secret weapon we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. Finger. Each finger behind, behind each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will have left the behind the clearest print. Can't really tell the difference at a glance. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger. Uh, pinky. <laughs> the emotes are going to be uploaded to the last landing because that uh, those account again. Okay. Also, scare. Uh, on a side note, did you ever show that picture of the one cat girl that I, that you told me to draw last? Last time I, I did some drawing, I think it was Thursday. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show how it's done. Emma started to get that sparkle in her eyes. You did? Any reaction? First, we sprinkle all the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? With enter. See? Ah. Oh. Luckily, that did the trick. 
The aluminum powder already completely adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow it away the, the excess. Huh? How do I do that? With E. Exciting, I know. It sucks because this this game was built for the DS and you'd have to use the mic. She said, go in gremlin mode. <laughs> Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow, that looks like fun. That might take some time getting used to, though. It's fine, it won't go up your nose or anything. Just pour out the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. Guess I better, better give this a try. enter. Man, the fingerprints are so clear right now. Yeah. It just makes me want to... <laughs> the dirt on my water clearly certainly is. <laughs> Okay, so I blew it away. That's not actually a fingerprint. But it looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. Oh, is it like a glove print? What does this mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck. The person who left his handprint must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Now you come down, that's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem as a shame. All right, why don't we look for other prints? Oh, prints. Looking at the locker door again closely. Seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Fingerprints outside the blood. Actually, hold on. I, I, I can do something. Uh, mouse wheel up, left click. Mouse wheel down, left click. Apply. Okay. I can make this joke multiple. I can make this joke multiple times if I just like set my my mouse wheel to left the left click button. Like I know we just I know we just got this gift, uh like from Edgeworth for Emma, but I I feel like I'm just wasting her gift, you know. Gently apply and then I just uh, just like dump the entire like container of aluminum powder into the onto the fingerprint. I 
There we go. Nice and thick. Now mix in some iron filings and we have a good time. Ugh. A print so clear it's dazzling. Dazzling. Anyway, this print this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's mash it up right away. So we're not done yet? This is quite a process. There's no find a, find a point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. Why not the person you think left these prints? Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? I can make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprints and the fingerprints are in different places right it. That means the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprint will be most likely find in this evidence locker? Ah. Hey, Uri, how's it going? Uri! Oh, thank you for that drink. Aha, so these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess it's probably because I was thinking so what. <laughs> yes, you're still streaming. Welcome back, Miss Guy. How's it going? Oh, fuck my back. <laughs> so I came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. But if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. This is where we got a luminol fluid reaction, right? Wait, there was a handprint here. Okay, let's try using this. There go who I go eyes sparkling again. Burgers and fries. Oh, that does sound good. Wait, did I even have dinner? Uh, you should probably go eat a snack if you have not. Or if you have, anyways. Damn, I forgot d dinner too. Fuck's sake, here. I go eat. Get out of here. Go eat something. I'm gonna go get dinner. Good. Go eat. Enjoy yourself. Don't choke. <laughs> Consumed food. Let's check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you something first. What? The area of the blood was wiped away, right? I only ended up finding it using a chemical means. They prints in that area would have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? Don't ask me. Yeah, we might just try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Standards that don't eat unseasoned meats. Go ahead.
They, who's are they? Who's someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Officer Jake Marshall. Marshall's fingerprints add to court record. That's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma. This is decidedly different from the detective gumshoes prints. The luminal reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh, oh. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints. On a wiped blood stain. I just bought a ring pop from my own brother. Ring pops are pretty good, but they always make my hand sticky. But from your own brother? Even even just like like I, I hate people who don't season their meat. Cause you at least gotta at the very fucking least give it a good salt and pepper in. Because that's like the basics. That's how, that's how you add flavors and how you cook a steak properly. Cook a burger properly. Cook a pork chop properly. You just add salt and pepper. Very least. Exactly, yeah. Sometimes you can add a bit of butter, so maybe some garlic, maybe some onions. Rosemary, thyme. Paprika, oregano, something. Dill, even. A hell, I'll set up for a pork covered in some dill. Oh, why are you staring at me like that? Good boy. You sound candy at school. Oh, I can't say. That's at least a good deal on candy. Seeing how prices are going up. Garlic is fucking good. Don't forget the uh, adoba and meat salt. I just go for like a, a coarse ground uh, sea salt for my steak. Oh, that shit's good. <laughs> the adobe sea salt. What what is what is adoba? Why would Officer Marshall? It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call the slice of evidence. I... I don't believe it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, thank you. Ugh. Oh. Seriously, the Dollar General is like a Dollar Twenty Five General now. Yeah. Sticks, I will pay you to somehow get me some like Chilean sea salt just so I can say I've been fancy. <laughs> I need garlic, lots of other little spices, some citrus. Nice. Maybe next time I do some grilled shrimp, I should just, like, mar oh, mar shrimp marinated in some garlic. Oh, that sounds good right now. Yeah, I'm not a big citrus on beef kind of person. I opened the Techno image and a fucking fire gun was on its slip and I thought I gave Technos it. Uh oh. Anyways, I'm going to call it quits here for the day, guys. I'm just going to double sit, check on save. Alright, let's figure out who we're going to raid. I can't scroll. Because every time I scroll, it's, it's a left click. Have a good night, final thanks, Ska. Raid Ska, yeah. 
Thank you for dropping the Discord and the YouTube, guys. Thank you. Have a good night, then. Thank you, Miss Guy. Don Catcher is live. All right, let's... Twitch. Oh, we have... Twitch. Oh, fuck off. Shut up, nerd. Oh, we have... Twitch. Fuck, I can't oh, right-click. Fuck off. Shut up, nerd. Oh, we have... Fuck, I can't right-click. Fuck off. Shut up, nerd. Oh, we have... Fuck, I can't right-click. <laughs> All right, so we have... Four different options. Uh, Avery Alexandria. Uh, doing analyzing character designs. I don't know what they mean by that. He just went live like three minutes ago. Probably didn't change what he was doing. Oh no, he did a poll in chat on his on his Discord. I remember that now. Um, we have Turnup playing Smash Bros. Tenkachi playing Genshin. And uh, Bathwater Bro playing Fallout 76. What are we doing today? Who are we raging? Good stream, thanks. I appreciate everybody for being here. And I, and again, I'm sorry that I just started like getting more and more drained. Okay, I guess I guess okay, we're raiding done. All right. Yeah, I just I I had I had the energy beginning to soft and just got a fucking flatlined. I just wanted to get the last half of that chapter over with. But anyways, thanks very much for, for like being here and supporting me. I appreciate it. Uh, tomorrow I think is idiot fuck makes a thing. And I'm de I'm deciding either we're gonna do uh, avatar updates, which you guys should post in my in my Discord under uh, stream feedback. What kind of updates do you think I should add to my model? You did three hours and some. You did great. Thanks. Um, or I might do some game dev time. We'll have to see. Okay, so. The red message will be There you go. Genshin Impact these nuts. What about a mix of blue and green, like ice ice and green fire? That'd be interesting. I guess I am. Oh, it's, the rays almost about to start. All right, have a good night, everyone, and take care.